One minute out. One minute out. One minute out. <laughs> What the heck happened? Freaking clamp broke when he, he, he caught the end out and it broke the uh, the stem on the clamp. Oh my gosh! Isn't that crazy? Yes. What? <laughs> I am out here, ready to race. <laughs> Yardage, open mat. This thing is sick, right? Yeah. <laughs> you racing in that? No, we can't. I don't know, we have to ask to a EMA. <laughs> <laughs> This year, they're switching things up with the times. They're trying to make it to where uh, you know more people all over the world can watch this stuff. So tell us about the new uh, the new schedule. Hey, first off, you are here. We are at the Anaheim opener. What a surprise that you are here. So thank you for being here. It wouldn't be A1 if this boy wasn't lining up. So thank you. Thank you. I'm yeah, no, everything, everything we're doing is making it this, this right now in this day and age. Viewership all across with Peacock streaming it. It is more accessible than it ever, ever has been in the sport. But we've changed the West Coast start time so everybody on the East can, can still be awake and some prime time viewing. So this year, for the first time, this is all going to start at 5 o'clock Pacific, 8 o'clock 
in the eight, so everybody will still be awake and be able to see you go racing. But everything starts with our race day live at 2.30. 4.30 we have a pre-show that will be on Peacock, and then we go racing at 5 o'clock local time, 8 o'clock on the East Coast. So they shifted the whole program like two hours earlier, so we got to get up a little earlier so you guys can watch. <laughs> so tune in. So we're down here on the starting line for A1. This year, uh, looks like we got a right-handed first turn if I'm not looking at it wrong, which normally causes a little bit of chaos because you can't get to your brake when it's on the right side. So when you, you, know, you come in, you put your right foot out, that means you can't hit your rear brake. So sometimes that means the first turns get a little gnarly. So I don't know, kind of excited. As a spectator, I'm, I'm liking it. As a racer, maybe not as much, but we'll see what happens. So here, this is where you're gonna cross the start. We crossed the start one, two, three, four, five different times on this track. So it's gonna be zigzagging back across the start. That means there's gonna be a lot of open areas to get speed. Sometimes when you go to supercross tracks, oh no. it's really tight. You can't do a whole lot of uh, opening the bike up and getting on the power band, but we have like, like I said, like five different long straightaways. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Right here, you cross the start and come into a sand section. Um, I like it because it's got speed, so you know, the roost won't be as bad, it won't get in your goggles. But uh, it's gonna be, we'll see what they do. Hopefully they'll try to make it not as one line. You know, this is press, it's just kind of thrown together. So I'm sure they'll see, take a look at where the lines are at and try to see which ones need to be higher or lower to try to get two lines going. They've been adding a lot of walls into Supercross. Uh, Sometimes they're not fun. This one's fun. It's like a step up. It slows your speed. It's a hip. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to open up two different lines inside and outside. And I think it's going to make it to where you can actually make a good, good pass in that right hander before you cross the start. So I like this wall. Not usually a big fan of walls, but this one's fun. Out of the sand, you've got, it's, it's a sloped corner. It's not really a bank corner, but I think that's going to be good to kind of create some more different lines. And then uh, you're gonna come into one of the longest dragon backs that I've seen in years. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six steps up the dragon back. Normally they're between three and four steps. This one's six. So it's essentially like a, just a whoop section. It's about the same length as a normal whoop section, but it goes uphill and then at the top it just drops off. So you gotta figure out if you wanna just skim all the way up the top if you want to skim and hit the second to last one a little low and pop over and try to drive. And then with uh, this corner being pretty wide, I think we're going to get a couple of inside lines going too. So maybe you'll see you guys jumping, kind of going roll three, two or something along those lines. So I actually, I like this thing. It's going to get a little spooky there at the top because imagine hitting a set of whoops and you know, a normal set of whoops and you go blah, 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 blah. And then it takes you about six feet off the top of the ground and drops you. If you get side to side, it gets a little gnarly. Hey Jim, how are you? So we got a finish line jump that's pretty massive this weekend. Goes over the whole start straight. This thing was about second pinned. So I'm gonna say it was, it's gotta be close to 75, 75 feet. This weekend we essentially have three sets of whoops, which I'm excited about, but these, aren't the biggest or scariest whoops that we've seen it in anaheim that's for sure they're they're not crazy far apart they're not crazy tall and they're not very steep so i think it's going to be good i think having three smaller set of whoops is more like they used to do it you know back in the 90s and i think that used to create a lot of good racing because it doesn't you know the whoops don't have to be scary to be able to separate guys so this is going to be interesting to see what happens i like it it's gonna be a tiring track, but there is some, like I said before, you crisscross over the start a lot, so you will have a chance to, you know, take a break and loosen your grip a little bit. What are we thinking, half mile? Uh, right now, almost 2,000 feet. So probably about- Three quarters maybe, yeah. huh? Uh -huh. Big track. Yeah. Nine whips on this side and- Ten? Nine over nine or 10 there. 120 feet long on this side. Nice. Have a good one. You too. The track, uh, they got a lot of moisture in it, so it was rutting up quick. The transitions in uh, 
compressed air always not perfect it's always about as sketchy as it's gonna be and then with the water you know we got that's what we're you know going through to try to get our lift and do this you know these gnarly rhythms so it'll get uh rougher as the weekend goes on but these transitions usually get a little bit nicer as the weekend goes on as well all right so i think this is the first turn i need to look at the track map but i'm assuming so um you know we didn't do the start today but uh <laughs> yeah get the ruts molly <laughs> this section is kind of tricky um you're gonna be coming out of the whoops you're gonna have the option of going outside doubling in or you'll have the option to go inside roll and jump over the kind of where the start straight comes together and get onto the top of this tabletop so this is kind of a new section new way they're trying to build the start straights because when the start comes through right in here everybody bunches up and they don't want to have some big rhythm section that everybody jumps straight out of the start so it looks like this new step up obstacle i mean it's not new it's not groundbreaking but it looks like from the track map something they're going to try to implement more to make sure guys don't just start come out of the first turn and hit big rhythms and run into each other so for that sense i like it i like it better than just a speed bump that they usually put in the races but this made for a tricky section today because you like i said you can go inside jump onto this right here step off over and then double double which yeah i don't know if it was extremely fast some guys may go over and then triple single but there wasn't much pop on it and that the one you got to triple over is a five footer and kind of steep but then the other line was to double and then to hit this and pop this step up over the top and then you land in this real sharp transition here and triple table over single something that i foresee happening not i'm not positive but I think maybe guys are gonna come out of the, hit the berm, go outside, jump the double, smack into the face of this, and then essentially quad, however you wanna count your jumps, but jump this whole obstacle over that, and then possibly triple. It's a really sharp, really abrupt takeoff. You're basically just jumping off of a curb. You know, your standard road curb, it's a maybe, uh, a foot taller than a standard curb and you'll be taking off that and i think jason anderson um you know ken rocks and jet i think that that's what these guys might end up doing so stay tuned all right the dozers are coming out they're fixing the track up for press day getting it ready for the pro press day in a little bit but uh i'm excited to be here last minute decision hopped in the motor home signed up on tuesday and came out here and uh made it for press this morning Stoked to be here. Expectations aren't extremely high for myself. Just want to come out and have fun and uh, share it with you guys. So thanks for watching. Give me a subscription if you can. Like and a follow. Uh, that, really, uh, that really helps grow the channel. So thanks, guys.